Hey guys, Golden here, and before we begin today's drama-packed video, I'm proud to announce the very first sponsor on the Golden channel, Filmora9. People are always asking me, how do you edit so good, what editing software do you use, etc. And I've been doing YouTube for around 5 years now and have gone through probably about 100 different editing softwares, and boy do I wish I found Filmora9 a lot earlier. Filmora 9 is an editing software for beginners, but don't let that trick you because I was already able to edit how I currently edit on the software within a couple of hours of using it. You can add super cool transitions by just dragging and placing, and within an hour you could have a pretty sick looking video or montage. There's countless amounts of transitions, titles, effects, and it even comes with a screen recorder which you can record your gameplay with. And for ever feeling like you want even more effects and such, you can go to filmstocks.com and download whatever pack looks best to you personally. My favorite personally is the video game pack, but there's pretty much something for whatever content you're trying to make. Vlogging, gaming, pretty much anything. I want to emphasize how easy this software is to use. If you're not looking to spend hours trying to learn how to edit, you can basically become a pro editor within an hour. If you're just starting your channel and want a nice editing software, or maybe you've just wanted to edit better, you can download Filmora 9, link in the description. Anyways, with that out of the way, I think it's time we head straight on into the video. Hey guys, Golden here, and welcome back to another Fortnite Mobile video. Today, we are going to be doing another Fortnite Mobile news video. Since Epic's been kind of slacking, and once again, we have no news this week, but we should be getting another one next week, hopefully. However, we do have some insane drama to go over in today's video. I don't think we've had this much drama in the Fortnite mobile community literally ever. This situation we're going to be talking about involves a massive content creator, Flash, who I'm sure a lot of you guys know, as well as the FNX captain, Slays, and some harassment accusations. We're going to be going over all of that today. This is an absolutely crazy situation that you guys aren't going to want to miss a second of, so be sure to watch to the very end of today's video. But before we head on into the topics, if you want to support what I'm doing for you guys, then be sure to use code GOLDEN in the Fortnite item shop. Also, if you're new to my channel and want to stay up to date with all this drama and such, then please consider going down below and subscribing with those post notifications on. Of course, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you're not, I hope this video can make your day just a little bit better. Now, I think it's time, of course, to sit back, relax, and grab some popcorn, because this is going to be good. Okay, so quickly, I know this video is going to get an extreme amount of backlash for many reasons, and I'm sorry if this video somehow hurts or affects anyone watching. I really don't want that. I'm just trying to make some content for you guys, and anything I talk about, don't take it too personally, please. Thank you. Alright, with that out of the way, heading straight into it, you guys are probably shocked by the title, Flash quote-unquote harassing someone. I know that probably sounds crazy, of course, to a lot of you guys, but before we go into this, there is a lot of backstory behind what Flash did, and we're going to be getting into that in just a bit. But first, let me quickly explain what's been kind of going on recently. So someone by the name of Analia, who's previously been in one of Flash's videos and is pretty big on Twitter, tweeted out showing a picture of some dude named Rob, who was saying on Discord, shut up, e-girl, cow butt. However, what if I told you Rob is Flash's alt account? Meaning Rob in this picture is indeed Flash. Now why did Flash say these things? Well, again, there's a lot of backstory behind it. So I'm gonna start where it all began according to Analia's side of the story. First off, I'm gonna start from Analia's evidence and such that she sent me. So this might not 100% be true, but we are gonna be going over the other side, which is someone who's also involved in this in just a little bit. Anyways, so according to Analia, it all started when Flash made a video with Analia in it, where basically he wonder would her and said she was the best female mobile player. And now that video stands at 34,000 views, which is a lot, and of course that gave Analia a lot of recognition. And after this video was uploaded, it seems like they must have gotten in an argument or something. 
And Ali sent me the DMs with her and Flash, so I'll quickly read them out for you guys. She first said, I'm confused because I always do crap to satisfy you guys because we're friends, but y'all act all weird like this and block me because of a decision I made that would not affect any of y'all. By the way, the decision I think she's talking about here is either deciding to e-date someone or breaking up with someone, which I'll go over more later in the video. Anyways, then Flash said, you act like it's just that. I don't talk to people that use me. And Nelly responded with, I used you? And then Flash said, bye Cloud Chaser. And Nelly ended it with, you're weird, I swear to god, I didn't even want you to make that stupid video. So from the looks of it, it looks like Flash accused Analia of using him for clout, and Analia is claiming she didn't even want him to make that video, which is now kinda going pretty viral. Not sure what caused these accusations, but clearly, off bat, there's some disagreements. Anali explained this a little better to me in DM, saying, Flash made a video with me, and I didn't know he was recording the video, and I was playing normally. Then later, after he got done editing, he said, Analia, I was recording all of this, and I'm gonna upload it. And I was like, okay, I guess, but I never forced him or begged him to do it. He didn't ask for my permission before he recorded. Now that's a completely separate issue, it looks like Analia also isn't happy that Flash recorded her voice and such without even asking for permission. But I think the main point she's trying to prove here is that she did not really care if Flash uploaded the video or not and didn't even know he was recording, so clearly she's trying to prove that she wasn't cloud chasing at all. Then they had beef with Static and banned me from their private server, Flash, Juno, and Slays, because they hate Static. So she's also claiming that all three of them, Flash, Slays, and Juno, all hate Static. Anyways, moving on, she then sent me another screenshot saying Slays texted loyalty, saying, I can't even say the word or I'll get demonetized, but you can probably guess what the word is. It isn't true, but keep in mind I'm a minor and he is 18 and I'm only 16. Wow, if Slays is indeed correct and Analia did send pictures, this is incredibly disgusting. And now we reach present time when they all joined her server and spammed the same crap, which is what we already went over at the beginning of the video. Then she said that they even went to her boyfriend trying to turn him against her, which is completely messed up. But again, we still don't know the full situation yet, and there was indeed reasoning to doing this. So, so far, we've heard most of Analia's side of the story, so now it's time to hear the other side of the story, Flash, Slays, and Juno's side. Slays was the first one to mention the situation, as he tweeted out saying, Gonna make a tweet soon today about the diamond hoe situation. I'm an e-girl situation, my bad. <laughs> you all are flaming Flash for the wrong reasons. Just stay tuned. Trust me, you all will side with me in an instant. And then later on, he tweeted out saying, My turn to make the tweet. On God, everything she said is crap. Give me like 10 minutes so I can write everything up. I can't believe y'all believe this little girl. Holy crap. So it seems like he's claiming that pretty much everything that Analia said is basically false. Now, I'm warning you now, this response is extremely long. So if it gets boring and you're not interested in it anymore, you can skip ahead past it, but I highly recommend listening to what he also has to say, but at the end I will kind of do a brief summary about it. Anyways, this is going to be a long post, so if you guys want to know the full story, I suggest you read the whole thing. I'm going to explain everything from the very start. Okay, let's take it back to when I first met Analia around a year ago. We met in Omen server and we talked in chats a bit in crap. Then one of the days, she joins the VC I was in, and I guess we became friends after that. We talked a lot, to be honest, like, a lot. We became close friends quickly. Fast forward two months from then, she came into my DMs one day and confessed her love for me. Well, before this, she kept tagging me in every server in front of everyone saying she loves me and stuff like that. I didn't ever see a point in it. So when she confessed that she liked me, I didn't know what to say at that point, so I did the obvious thing and said I liked her also. Keep in mind this is almost a year ago and we were talking to each other for a good 2-3 to three months and by then, I actually had feelings for her and stuff, only because of the bond we built over the 4-5 to five month span. One day out of the blue, she cuts me off instantly, like it happened so quick, it actually shocked me. And I was upset, but I didn't really care, I wasn't the first one to go admit I like someone and stuff. 
Before she even admitted she liked me, I never once had feelings towards her and any more of the e-girls. In my head, I'm saying to myself, just concentrate on your own career and I am Noob's career. Not even a single day went by and I found out she's full on e-dating some dude from Static. And before we even met, she had dated two guys from Omen who she fully caught off for me. I'm not mentioning any names here because I know these guys don't want to be exposed. So I'm like, dang. She's actually messing around. Then I also found out that she basically used me to get to Juno only because Juno and Flash are friends. At this point, I disliked Flash a lot, so she couldn't go straight from me to Flash. Her only option was through Juno. She starts flirting with Juno now, sending him pics, texts, and the casual e-girl stuff. Then she finally ends up meeting Flash and this was basically her main goal from the beginning at all starting from the kids in Omen, then to me, then Juno and finally to Flash. At this point Flash already had a girlfriend so her casual ego flirting wasn't going to work out. So all of us cut her off at this point because we knew exactly what type of person she was. At this point, she has nowhere to go besides Static. They were the second biggest clan after FNX at the time, so it was only right for her to go there and get a bit of clout from them. Also, before I carry on from this point, I want to talk about the pictures thing that she mentioned. So when we were first talking, out of nowhere, she DMs me saying, also, by the way, Slays, I've never sent pics. I was, of course, weirded out. I was like, okay, but she only said this because she had sent pics to those two kids in Omen, and one girl from the community already told me that this happened. If you're e-dating one guy and you have trust in him and stuff like that, obviously pics and stuff are fine, but she had sent pics to multiple boys just to get their attention. Alright, I just want to quickly explain this part of the situation because it's kind of long. You want to expose some kids blanks, then explains how we found out she was dating multiple boys from Static, and explains how every time they broke up, she would go to Slays and tell him how she's upset, and even though she hurt him, he was still always there for her. Then Slays continued saying, the next day or so, I would find out she's e-dating some other dude who has like 10 followers on Twitter. And I'm like, what is wrong with this girl? At this point, she's e-dated like 10 guys on God. And of course, she breaks up with him also. And this just annoyed me. Like she's going around getting with boys, draining all the exposure and clout she can get from them, then ends up dumping them without a care in the world. The stuff I've done for this girl and for her to treat myself and the other guys like crap annoyed me. She only cares about herself and her own future. Here's some examples. When Evade posted their academy, everyone was in the VC and Zol server and they wanted to join, but she asked me to VC with her instead because she had no one to VC with, so obviously I was there for her. And when she didn't get picked, she starts balling her eyes out and obviously i'm there to comfort her even after all the crap she's previously done even after that she doesn't complain about anyone i'm the idiot for giving her so many chances all of us gave her chances she's used a lot of people for her own gain she's made flash give her a shout out made me give her recognition from the start i don't care what y'all say she's literally made by flash right now but listen I know that doesn't give us the right to harass her and crap, but it's only the sad truth. The girl made fun of Flash for a whole week. The girl made fun of Flash for a whole two months after he made the face reveal vid, making memes out of him, etc. So if y'all tell me that ain't harassing, then I don't know what is. That's worse than us calling her something she actually is. Then he basically just explained how she went and dated another guy and then explained how she's ruined so many kids' careers. Wow, Slays just said so much there, and I'm sure a lot of you guys got a little lost. I'll quickly explain it for anyone who did indeed get lost. So basically, Slays met Analia, and they became friends, and later, Analia ended up explaining how she liked him, and Slays at the time didn't feel that way, but he ended up saying he also liked her. Then randomly, she cuts him off, and Slays found out she was trying to use him to get all the way to meeting Flash. She dated like over 10 people and always came to Slays when she broke up with them saying she's upset. Slays feels like she's selfish and is just trying to clout chase and is only focusing on her own success. He and Flash called her those things because it's quote unquote the sad truth and apparently she's made fun of Flash for months 
which she thinks is harassment. Also, she has apparently ruined so many kids' careers. Yeah, definitely just some crazy stuff to say the least. I don't want to say what side I'm on, so I'm not going to, but let me know down below so far what side you guys are on. But it's nowhere near over there. Analia responded to these allegations by tweeting out this. One out of two. Holy crap, this is sad that you have to lie. No way, I'll finish this later, but everything he said is a lie. Confessed her love, I will get proof after work that he was the one who liked me. Juno was the one who wanted me, I will get proof after work. This is so sad that he lied and made half that crap up. However, she later ended up deleting the tweet. However, we do have another response from Slays, which he DM'd me, which I think fully settles the situation with Analia and Slays. It shows Slays saying this, after this, I'm down to drop it. And after all this, most of the tweets did end up getting deleted. So I think it is good to see Analia and Slays are finally reunited and no longer mad at each other. However, we got to remember what the situation was about and why all this happened. It was because of this tweet. But you got to understand the main point Anali was trying to make was that Flash was harassing her. You can see in the screenshot, it's Flash, not Slays or Juno or Monster. And Flash still hasn't done an official response. However, it sounds like what Slays is saying is also a similar case to Flash's situation because he was basically agreeing with pretty much everything Slays posted. So, I guess that's it for now. I can already tell you guys are going to be extremely split in terms of what side you're on. And this is definitely going to bring the most backlash I think I'm ever going to be seeing on this channel. But please, none of this is supposed to be taken too seriously. Please do not send any hate to any of the people involved in this series. In case anything else changes with the situation, then of course I'll be reporting on it in my next video, so be ready, subscribed with those post notifications on. If you did enjoy this video, then please slap a like because I'm expecting this video to get an insane amount of dislikes and backlash, so every like truly does count. If you want to support what I'm doing, then please consider using code GOLDEN for every single purchase in the Fortnite item shop. Thanks! so much for watching today's extra long video i really do appreciate it also comment great video if you made it this far for a nice juicy heart and maybe a shadow in the next video i don't know but either way this has been golden do with this information as you will and i'll see you in the next one peace